All right, first things first, um, awesome to be back playing again at home. Uh, Bronco Nation uh, afternoon game, that was exciting. Troy is a really good football team. We knew that. I think you guys got a chance to see that today. And to watch our guys go out there and truly compete uh, for the first time in a while after the things that we've been working on and uh, all those practices, you know, just to watch them go cut loose was exciting today. Really proud of our guys. The goal is to be 1-0. That's exactly what we are right now. And we played against a really good team. And we get a chance to celebrate tonight and go back to work tomorrow and, and learn and, and get better. You know, you, you probably hear the players say that. I mean, that's really what the goal is, get better every day. Yeah, this is the first game. And we're not going to – we're going to learn from it, but it's the first game. So we know we're building, growing, getting better, and uh, moving forward. You know, I'm excited about this team. There was a good vibe. Uh, I thought uh, – in all three phases, there were some good things. And I'll start with the special teams. It was nice to see the work that we put into special teams and the players, what the, the work they put in to go out there and see the, the execution, uh, to have a touchdown, to have some big returns. Um, you know, that was exciting. Coach Riddle and the staff did a great job there defensively. Uh, I thought they were dialed uh, against a really good offense uh, that probably wanted to run the football more than they did, but our front seven did a really good job. A quarterback that we knew could throw it, some receivers that were very, um, very good and also experienced coming back. Offensively, some good things. Wanted to run the ball much better than we did, but their game plan was to stop it, uh, much like ours. They wanted to stop the run, hammer the run, take away the run, make us throw it, uh, is exactly what they wanted to do. And, and we were challenging them in the run game, um, and they probably won you know, quite a few of those battles. So we got to figure out a way to do that because we still want to have that, that same mindset and be able to run it. Uh, but overall, proud of our team. It was exciting in the locker room to get back in there and, uh, and celebrate with those guys. So looking forward to enjoying tonight and then back to work for Washington State tomorrow. So with that, Jay, start with you. What do you got? Um, start with the quarterback, I guess. Uh, you, you used, did, did you plan on using Montel that much? And, and, yeah. Uh, what did he kind of seemingly offer this off at the time? I think he played four or five drives and mm -hmm. almost half of them ended in touchdowns. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be the, the question right there. That was already the plan going into the game that we were going to use both guys. Uh, Montel had a series. Montel had a few plays in there. Um, so he was going to be involved regardless. And he did a good job. You know, it's just he went in there and played well. Um, proud of what he did. You know, I thought Brett did some good things in there. I know we had an interception. Um, they played it well. You know, they played it really well. And, you know, we had an opportunity for the same type of pick in the game. So th those, are the, those are the ebbs and flows of the game. They happen. You know, when you're, when you're playing a good football team, those guys are no slouches. They got really good players. Nobody talked about their defense. Nobody talked about their corners. Nobody talked about their secondary. Those guys are really good, and they made, it, they made us pay uh, when they drove on one of the balls. So, um, yeah, I'm not getting too hung up on that. We'll learn from it, and, and we'll get better. The, the, the main thing for me, you know, with our quarterbacks in general, those guys, when they understand, they learn from it, there's a mistake made. All right, don't make it again. And let's carry that over into the games moving forward. So, uh, like where Brett was at, you know, he's going to come back to practice and get better. Like where Montel was at, he's going to come pra to practice and get better. So, um, that won't change anything moving forward. With the way Montel played, offense seemed to click a little bit <clears throat> with him. You had him in late in the game. Certainly, there's going to be questions about maybe he should play more, maybe he should be the starter. How do you, yeah. how will you approach it going forward knowing? You, you trusted him in a lot of key situations uh, in this game. Yeah, well, I think that's – we've already asked those questions. You know, the, the, the only people that matter that are asking those questions are the coaches. We've already asked that. We've already seen Montel play. We've already seen Brett play. We already knew he was going to be in there. Um, Montel's a good quarterback. He came here for a reason. He came here to play. Well, he got an opportunity to do that. And he played in a couple series, and he finished out some drives. It was a good thing. Um, that is part of who we are on the offensive side. And Brett is a good quarterback, and Brett is getting better. Um, so both those guys, to me, uh, we got two guys that can play. And um, you know, as we move forward, we'll go back out there. We'll put together our plan, how we utilize those guys in the plan. It's like everybody else, our running backs, our tight ends, our wide receivers. Um, you know, Octavius Evans, you know, played as a true freshman today, had a big play, and he was in for said. So, uh, you know, there's going to be opportunities for guys the way we run the offense. I know you said uh, yesterday or a couple days ago that defense uh, inexperience isn't necessarily a bad thing, but maybe some fans, you know, kind of curious what the defense would look like. A lot of youth and experience, one of the storylines coming in. For them to 
limit them to the 200 yards and <clears> no <throat> offensive touchdowns? And how, how, what can you say about what the defense was able to do today? In this game today, the defense played really well. And, you know, in experience, we know that we have good players. And I thought the staff did a great job of putting them in the right positions. And I thought they executed the plays uh, really well. You know, the, the, inex the inexperience, you still have a whole season. You know, this is one game. And right now, they played really well. They were prepared. Um, they're going to have to go back and, and do that again the next week uh, against a really good offense. So, you know, that still remains to be seen. But as far as today, these guys were ready to play. And, and they just played, it's cliche, but they did. They played one play at a time. They stayed focused on that particular down. Um, they knew when they got him into a third down situation. I don't know what they're, they, they didn't convert a lot on third downs, four or 15. <clears throat> yeah, they were 0 for 7 in the first half. So, you know, we did a really good job. And that for the defense, you can get in those three and outs. Um, you're giving yourself a chance, you know, for field position, which we got. Uh, for the offense to hopefully take advantage of that, which we, we did okay today. But uh, it still remains to be seen. You know, there's, there's a lot of areas for improvement. You know, I'm excited. But this is one game, so we're not going to get too far ahead of ourselves. Uh, but as far as today and what they did for the three and a half hours they were playing, defense played really well. Power of a turnover, and that, that, <coughs> I mean, right when you think you've oh, seen yeah. it all, but it looks like Reed's about to break on a pass and have uh, the field wide yeah. open, and he tips it to the receiver. But then Dez comes over and, <laughs> and knocks you know, the ball loose, and yeah, uh, just, I mean at that point in time that would have tied the game. You're one yard away from tying. The yeah, game. yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, that clip right there. You want to put that on the pursuit clip, all right? As a teach tape that will probably be around for the next 10, 12 years. It'll be on there. Reed's got an opportunity. You know, there's a, I think everybody assumes that he's going to make that play. The ball's thrown, um, and it tips right in the wide receiver's hands. And then here comes Des Williams. And, and just that is your hustle play. And I'll tell you this, you know, from an offensive standpoint, man, that ball is kind of swinging, and he went right after it, knocked it out. Ball goes out of bounds in the back of the end zone. That's a huge momentum changer. Uh, that, that is just effort, and that's really – you're talking about all 11 guys. You don't ever know when it's going to happen. You don't know when that play is going to change the game. And on that play where there could have been a pick opportunity, we don't get it, they get it. That's an easy one for guys to shut down and just assume that he's going to make that play. And all of a sudden, they got the ball in their hands, and Dez is coming out of nowhere and knocking it out. That's a huge play. So that's one that when we go back and watch it tomorrow, that's not just that particular play. That's, like, that's an identity that you're creating, you know, that you play like that, not just on defense, but you play like that every single play as a team. Um, if we had all 11 guys doing that every play, you know, that's probably going to be a really good game for the Broncos. First, uh, I think uh, it was four penalties for the sacks for, for the offensive line today. I wonder your thoughts on, on what you got. And you mentioned the run game, you know, how those guys play today. Mm -hmm. I know they're very inexperienced. And then, uh, you know, how maybe Montel was able to compensate for that with his legs, sure. and, you know, going with that different. Sure, yeah. Well, you're going to have sacks. All right, we want to eliminate those. And um, I'm, I'm not going to put that on the O-line now. I haven't seen the tape. You know, could the quarterback have got it out? It's always, there's two participants in that. All right, O-line and quarterbacks when you have a sack in there. Um, <clears throat> the penalties, yes, those are ones that, that we can control. And we've got to do a much better job in that area. Uh, you're always, from an offensive standpoint, you're always worried about hurting yourself putting yourself in bad positions. Uh, the disappointing thing, 0 for 4 and 4 downs. That's disappointing. All right, you have two yards, you have one yard. Um, you have decisions that can be made that maybe uh, you want to kick a field goal, you want to put the points on the board, or you want to see if you can go get two yards. And we didn't do that today. So um, as far as you know, the inexperience, we've got good players there. Yes, I thought they grew up as the game went on. But if we're going to put ourselves in fourth down situations, you know, I'll say this, we learned a lot about, you know, our team today when we were in those. Uh, we didn't execute them. We didn't execute them at all very well. And uh, Montel was able to come in and some of those where he was outside the pocket. Um, I think there was one, it might have been a, a boot, you know, and, and <laughs> I think everybody was like, run. You could see him, he's kind of looking down the field, but it was there and it was a third and one, maybe, and he got the first down. Um, you know that's an opportunity that he brings when you get out there, and and you got to play you got to play speed a little bit differently. That way, you're either going to take him, and if you do, you can dump it off, and if you don't, you can run it.
I mean, that's really what you're putting a guy in the conflict when you're able to get the edge like that and capture it. So um, what he brings to the table that way is different. And, and you know, he made it um, in those short yardage situations, he made that count, you know, just being able to use his speed there.